What's up again everybody? Crucible of War spoiler season is officially here and we have our first no, wait. Second, second spoiler of the set. Let's get into it. This spoiler was posted by Winway Logan Xie, who's the admin of the Flesh and Blood fan page on Facebook. If you're not part of that fan page, you should really check it out. I highly recommend it. There's tons of good little conversations on it. He posted this one up like 20 minutes ago, I think. I'm making this video like after I saw it. So 20 minutes ago. Technically, it's the first one out of the gate, but maybe technically it's not because we did see that one from Classroom Cafe last week. So either way, whether it's the first or the second, it doesn't matter because it's a card. So let's talk about his card. This is Coax a Commotion. Okay, so Coax a Commotion is a zero cost, four attack, generic attack. It's a majestic card. It pitches for one resource or red. It blocks for two if you choose to block with it. And it says, if Coax a Commotion hits, choose any number of these next options. Each hero <laughs> creates a quicken token. Each hero draws a card or each hero gains a life. Now again, it says choose any of them. So you could choose all of them choose any number you could choose all three you could choose two you could choose one you could choose none if you wanted to for some reason but who cares because this thing costs zero and it allows you to do any one of these things this this card makes me giggle okay it's that funny and that hilarious of a card that's so cool so to me the most exciting of the options is this one creating a quicken aura token if you don't know what a quicken aura token is if you're new to the game here it is here's i just threw it on the screen for you it's a generic token you can play it down by creating it with other cards okay and it says when you play an attack action card or attack with a weapon destroy quicken aura token and then the attack gains go again so basically if you can create a quicken aura token you can give something that comes after the creation of that token go again which is really cool so again if you're new to the game giving things go again is really really strong because that's how you basically combo off in this game okay like in in magic you use resources to attack and then you play down creatures and you can use multiple creatures if you have them on the board in hearthstone you can play combos from hand with cards that maybe have some synergy together in uh, flesh and blood you can combo multiple attacks and use multiple actions on a turn by giving things go again that's one way that you can do that so it's a very powerful very evergreen very important to understand keyword and by creating a quick and aura token with this zero cost four attack action which is inc incredibly obviously cheap to play it's cost zero uh, it, by creating a quick and aura token with this you're both applying pressure with an attack and threatening further pressure if you've played create or coax a commotion excuse me if you've played that um, with something that gave it go again so this fits perfectly again in something like a go wide deck where you're trying to play multiple things because you can then create a quick and aura token and not rely on something um, that you play after this having go again to be able to keep that combo going and, and throw more attacks at your opponent because this can create it you really only need one way of gaining an extra action point or creating another go again trigger um, onto this card and then it will snowball for you know the next card or maybe that one snowballs for the next card that's to me the most exciting thing about this card the very next ability is the next most exciting thing to me i think it's pretty obvious gaining one life isn't as exciting to me as drawing a card drawing a card in this game is so much more powerful than drawing a card in something like hearthstone magic the gathering um key forge drawing a cards in those games is like that's what you do um, throughout the turn there are multiple ways to draw cards in all of those games whereas in this game drawing cards is a lot more rare and therefore a lot more valuable especially when you're using your cards in two different ways or really three different ways as a card as an attack or as you know like a defense or as pitching for resources or as blocking right your cards do multiple things and so having more of them is just that much better so the ability to draw a card and create a quick and aura token is absolutely insane now it is very important to note that and this is i think in general across all card games that a card that does the same thing for both players is generally worse than a card that does something just for you welcome back captain obvious i mean that's kind of obvious to say but symmetric effects are by and large much 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 worse to play 
than um, cards that do nothing or, or net effects because you're giving your opponent a resource or something or anything, just anything. You're giving your opponent anything and they have to do nothing to reap that benefit. They don't have to put the card in their deck. They don't have to play the card as one of their actions. They don't have to do uh, any legwork whatsoever. You're just giving them a resource for free and you're the one that's paying on the back end. Like for example, if you did not give this card go again, then you play this card and your turn is over, right? So there is some downside to this card that you ha really have to think about when it comes to symmetric effects. And this is true in all card games. Uh, unless I'm wrong for some reason, I just got too excited and read this card differently. This is a symmetric effect. And so you're providing this benefit to both players. So that is something to keep in mind. But the fact that this is a four cost or a four attack, excuse me, um, zero cost action uh, is is absolutely super fun. And the fact that it can draw you a card and give you a quick and aura token plays really well in uh, like go wide, take all your opponent's resources because they're trying to block all of your attacks decks. So where do you see this card fitting in the current meta? Do you think this like slots into like a dash deck that tries to go wide for some reason? Or is that deck just uh, already good? It's optimized check. You don't even need to worry about it. Do you put this into um, an like Oath of the Arknight kind of a weirdness deck, like just an, uh, a Rune Blade deck? Do you put it into a ninja deck, <laughs> which is what, let's be honest, I put everything into a ninja deck, so who cares? Uh, tell me in a comment below what you think about this card and what cards are you excited to see coming down the pipeline? I know I'm excited. <laughs> this is generic attack. I'm excited to see Ranger stuff and Runeblade stuff, because those I think are my two favorite classes. So I'm looking forward to seeing hopefully something down the pipeline regarding those classes. Let me know if you like this video in a comment below. If you enjoy these fab videos, feel free to like and subscribe so that I know you want to see more. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.